What's going on, y'all? Brother Doug here. Uh, we just got done watching the Fantastic Four uh, trailer. Well, I could definitely tell that they're taking uh, some major influence from the Ultimate Fantastic Four stories. Uh, <laughs> but before I get on to that, I just want to say, I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. The fact that Marvel doesn't have the rights to Fantastic Four, or the comments I'm reading. Like, man, like, one for one, you know, I'm still, you know, holding judgment about Michael B. Jordan uh, playing Johnny Storm, a.k.a. Human Torch. You know, I love Michael B. Jordan on uh, The Wire and uh, Fruitvale Station and Red Tails. But, you know, and Chronicle. I really didn't like when studios push diversity just for the sake of diversity. You know, oh, we need a black audience. Uh, oh, we need to bring in the black audience. Uh, let's make a black character. No, let's take an existing character and make him black. Like, you know, that's not the way to win us over, Hollywood. They should have just made Sue black as well. But now I guess they're a mixed um, a family. And Josh Trank wants to elaborate on that because he's from a mixed family. You know, Josh Trank, the director, you know, he has black siblings, I guess. And... Uh, it's kind of confusing, but I guess it is today's generation and the way we're living. It's, it's 2015, so personally, I would have just kept Johnny White, you know, because that's like them making my Black Panther white, and y'all know I would have a breakdown. I would riot all around. Fer Fer Ferguson, and a lot of people complain about the fact that uh, Thing doesn't have any pants. I don't know, some of y'all claim to be hardcore Ultimate Fantastic Four fans, or just comic book fans in general. Uh... I'm not no big Fantastic Four fan like that. Uh, this book was a birthday gift, but uh, you know, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think. Did, uh, do y'all see thing with pants? I mean, you guys claim you read this book, right? I mean, I'm just, I'm just going off facts. And while we're on the subject of the ultimate influence, you know, Josh Trank uh, said that they're gonna explore, you know, Reed when he was younger, just like in this book. I think the villain for the next movie is gonna be the mole. Uh, he's actually the villain in this book, and Doom is the villain in the next book. But I could definitely see why they're trying to take their own new approach. But other than that, the trailer itself, <laughs> I actually like it, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, before y'all start flaming on on me, no pun intended. <laughs> or you can take it, pun intended, no pun intended, however you want to take it. Um, I mean, I just like the new approach, you know, I'm, you know, they didn't have to make it look goofy or too kitty or, you know, too kid friendly or nothing like that. They just... Kept it real, you know, just like I was reading an article about him yesterday, Josh Trank and Simon Kinberg, the producer. Uh, you know, they just want to take a new approach and combine genres, just like Captain America 2 uh, dealt with the political thriller and how Guardians of the Galaxy was a superhero movie but connected with the sci-fi roots, you know, like Star Wars, Star Trek, and, you know, the whole nine. So, overall, that's my opinion of the Fantastic Four trailer. I'm still reserving judgment about, you know, Johnny being black. You know, uh, you know, I had no problem with Michael B. Jordan, so let's clear that up out the way. Uh, how did y'all feel about this trailer? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. We can get the party going still. And like always, do this.